we should know what is weak entity and strong entity this question is also important maybe ask for two to five marks what is weak entity what is strong entity comparison between strong entity and weak entity what are the entities that we have studied before are called as strong entities whereas weak entity is an entity which does not have primary key an entity which has the primary key is called strong entity whereas an entity which does not have a primary key into it then it is called as weak entity set or an entity which does not have sufficient attributes to form the primary key of the relation then it is called as weak entity set so what it has it is it has a prime uh, partial key it has a partial key what is partial key it is nearer to the primary key but we can't make such attribute also as a primary key of this entity set such a entity set is called as uh, such a key is called as partial key of the weak entity set take this example there are two entity sets in this diagram one is represented by single rectangle whereas <coughs> another is represented by double rectangle that is payment here we can say that loan number uh, is the primary key of loan it means that this is a strong entity if you see the left hand side entity set that is loan it is a strong entity set because it has a primary key whereas if you see the right hand side of this diagram we have another entity that is called as payment this is represented by double rectangle because it is a weak entity it does not have sufficient attributes uh, sufficient attributes to form the primary key of this entity set now, now checks the different attributes that it has that is payment number payment date and payment amount let's check why we can't make this uh, attributes as the primary key of this payment entity set every loan when the customer applies in a bank for say 10 lakh if i apply for a loan of 10 lakh then the bank has its own criteria to disburse the loan depending upon the criteria if you satisfy all the criteria 90% loan may be sanctioned if some of the criteria are met then 85% is sanctioned or 70% may be sanctioned that total depends upon the number of criteria that you satisfy so it means that for your file there may be two three payment numbers assigned and out of these two three payment numbers only one will be sanctioned at the last so there may be more than one payment number for the same loan because of that we can't make this payment number as the primary key of this payment entity can we make payment date no because on the same date there may be many payments dispersal happen so we cannot make payment date also because from the payment we can't identify unique customer or unique loan from the bank can we consider payment amount no even payment amount can be same for many customers so we can't make payment amount also the primary key of this particular table so it means that we checked for all the three attributes and we found that no attribute is nearer to you can say the primary key of the table so that's why we can't have the primary key in this table and because of that we need to consider this particular at uh, this entity set as the weak entity set but if you see payment number payment number is definitely nearer to the primary key of the relation that's why it is represented by dotted line and that it is called as partial key of the weak entity set it is the partial key of the weak entity set see how the primary key has been shown here in the loan table by solid line whereas partial key is always represented by dotted lines and one more thing is the relationship table or relationship set which exists between strong entity and the weak entity is always represented by double diamond it is represented by double diamond like this and what's the name they have given here it is loan payment relationship set it is loan payment relationship set any questions in this